hey guys welcome back to my channel today i have a new review video again so i'm really excited for today's video because i am wanting to try this foundation since a very long time since it has been released in the us so i was very excited when i finally found it on sephora middle east website uh during black friday sale or after black friday sale it got released online i went in store to buy few things during black friday i got the natasha denona palette but i honestly didn't even go to like nars section so i didn't see whether it was available that time but after black friday it was available on web the website so i quickly just ordered the foundation because i'm really happy and excited to try this foundation so today we are going to try and wear it for almost eight to nine hours so this is the nars soft matte complete foundation so this is like matte foundation but it is not completely completely like flat matte foundation because i am not a big fan of matte foundations but i've heard good things about this foundation so i am actually willing to try out the foundation and review it for you guys and with that i got the concealer as well because even this concealer i wanted to try all the time but i just couldn't because i was giving my preference to others i thought i'm just gonna try it together and see how it works because these two like go with each other so i thought i'm just gonna buy the concealer as well so if you are new here to my channel my name is Sharmin. i do makeup related videos tutorials reviews hauls if you want to and if you are interested please do subscribe to my channel hit the notification bell so you can be notified because it is free it doesn't cost you anything but it will really help me a lot to grow out my channel please if you are interested please subscribe to my channel and without wasting time let's get into the video so So I'm going to quickly first tell you a few things about the foundation. I'm going to tell you the price as well. And then we'll continue with the application and then we'll do check-ins as well. So we have the NARS Soft Matte Complete Foundation and this is for $40 on their website. And on Sephora Middle East it is for $175 dirhams. I actually got the shade Medium 1.2 Patagonia. I have said like multiple times I usually match myself using the Sephora.com us website they have like shade finder for foundations so i usually match my laura mercier foundation because that is the perfect shade and i usually put that as a reference to shade match with other foundations they have matched me with this so let's see so this is like medium 1.2 with like peachy undertones so i actually got this and the packaging is actually really stunning and i think they have like lipsticks also with this packaging but i'm not sure whether that is available so this is the packaging ours always have this like soft touch finish and the packaging is like really different from what other brands usually put out and this is amazing this is like this is actually like not squeezy tube i'm not sure that it is like actually it is like squeezy tube so it is it won't like get messy too messy but it's easy and it has like a nice plastic packaging with like soft touch i really hope this color matches me so this is the soft matte complete foundation i got it from sephora middle east so i'll put a link in the description so discover all new satisfaction with a breakthrough in matte foundation through color oxidization resident so this foundation they have like said that it is not going to oxidize because a lot of foundation oxidize on your skin and it changes and gets a bit darker as you as you wear it and it will be like one shade when you're wearing it and after it dries and after a few was it oxidizes and gets a bit darker but this doesn't actually do that so that's really good full natural looking coverage amazing comfortable 16 hour wear featuring nars exclusive anti-oxidation oxidation 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 co complex to help prevent color shifting and to help protect skin from pollution and blue light damage new hydra matte balance complex balances excess sebum while keeping skin hydrated with a combination of micro algae and bio hyaluronic acid superior oil absorbing powders creates a smooth mattified second skin look which i really love a lot satisfying mattifying the new look on matte available in 34 shades for all skin tones 
oxidization resistant transfer proof shine proof sweat proof humidity proof transfer proof shine proof that is amazing and it will also give you a blurring effect because it has some optimal diffusing powder in it so it will give you an instant blurring effect which creates smooth second like skin appearance it is a full coverage foundation but it will give you a natural look so that is what i love a lot and then finally i got the concealer and this is there in my cart on sephora website it goes to my cart and then it goes to my wish list it goes to my cart it goes to my wish list but i thought i'm gonna try it with this foundation because i mean it goes with the foundation so i thought i'm gonna just go gonna buy it so i got the shade medium one custard soft matte complete 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 concealer so i got the shade custard so this is like a tub one so this is for 30 dollars and on sephora you get it for 125 dirhams this is a high coverage matte concealer get high performance correction with, with soft focus blurring soft matte complete concealer instantly blurs and smooth and uneven textures while concealing dark spots it has hyaluronic acid and protective vitamin a c and e natural looking coverage and oil free so it is long wearing non drying and just for all skin types so it is available in 30 shades so that is good these two actually go together because they have like similar properties and similar like ingredients to it so anyways guys let's get into the video because i will actually be wearing this for around seven to eight hours or nine hours how much ever hours is possible for me before sleeping i'm gonna do that this is actually the packaging it is honestly really nice soft finish and soft this is usually the packaging that nars comes out with their blushes they have like soft touch so i really love the packaging of this really pretty and you have your shade name here and you get about 45 ml so we actually have that and this is the concealer i'm i'm very sure you must have seen because it is nothing new i got the shade custard and i and it has 6.2 grams it is a pot concealer even this has like soft touch so really amazing and, and this has like a squeezy tube honestly i'm not sure how much do i even like use it but let's see i'm just gonna apply the, and this is honestly my first like foundation and this is not that soft i mean it's like hard so you can't like so i mean it is good that it is not soft squeezy so a lot of product like won't come out so i am honestly gonna apply like this much because i'm not sure how full coverage it is and how it is gonna apply so i'm just going to use that much first and i'm going to use a new brush so let's see honestly the color is good it's looking too light for me actually but let's see once i'm done with my entire makeup i, I hope it looks good and honestly i've applied way too much way way too much honestly on screen it is looking too light but it is not too light and it is full coverage so i think i will have to apply less because i honestly have applied too much that is why i think they have written on their website to use with your fingers it is blending really easily and this brush is actually making it super easy to blend because it is like huge buffer brush and whatever is left on my brush i'm gonna take it to my neck honestly the color is looking pretty good i think i will have to apply like less oh my god it's looking way too much on camera i mean i have applied a lot so i honestly need to apply almost half of the amount that i have applied because it's looking too much on my skin and i don't love this much foundation and i'm honestly looking like a ghost somehow on camera it is looking way too light i'm just gonna buff it in my skin not looking like caked up i have applied just my regular moisturizer that i use to moisturize my skin i have not used any primer because first i want to see how it looks and how it works just by its just by its own and then i can play with it i will be using this foundation like on a regular basis for now because this is a new foundation and i want to see how it works with different primers and how it works with like 
other powders and concealers so today i wanted to give like a fair shot using just using the concealer that goes with it i mean it's not necessary to use this concealer but they honestly have advertised it with like this concealer and it has like similar properties it's a nice matte finish and now it's looking much better now that it has taken a few seconds honestly before i was looking like a ghost now it's pretty much better and i mean once i've applied my bronzer and everything i think it will look pretty good and honestly it is looking honestly really nice and even around my nose area it's looking really good i mean there is like a dry patch here but it is not sticking to it that much i mean it is not that visible so for foundation this is pretty good and honestly it is not even exaggerating my pores i mean it is not like complete complete blurring but it is giving a nice finish so i mean that is all that i want to do for my foundation because honestly i've applied like a lot now going with the concealer i have the shade custard i hope this matches me i hope it is not too dark or too light for me so i'm gonna take like this brush and this is the morphe m173 i usually use this brush for priming my lids or even for like precise concealing so i'm just going to use this and i'm honestly not going to use a lot and i'm gonna use this only to prime my lids i didn't even apply that much and it is pretty good i'm just going to apply a little bit here because there is a lot of dark circle i mean i'm trying to sleep early but honestly i can't just sleep i mean i have to get up like around six in the morning to sleep early otherwise i am honestly not gonna sleep i'm just gonna put this little bit here i think this is the best brush or use this concealer with your fingers so it will give you like a precise application and it is not even like caking up i mean i i think i should have applied a little bit of like um corrector but i think for now it's pretty good and i don't have like any face products like powders or anything from nars i'm just going to use like my regular products which i use my trusty laura mercier powder to set my under eyes Usually it's pretty good and i don't really want to do anything more i am happy with the way it's looking i don't want to use any other concealer because i want to see how it works so for now it's looking really good the concealer is also amazing it is not even like creasing but i still want to set my under eyes because i usually do and i prefer setting my under eyes this is my favorite brush to set my under eye gives like a precise application that's what i wanted to say i mean after i'm done with this i'll be filming like two or three more youtube videos i actually have time today i don't have any other works so i'm just gonna film the videos and i'm just setting like my smile line because it's important honestly my foundation is looking pretty good and even my under eyes is looking really nice it's honestly looking really nice it is little bit tacky because i haven't like set my face so i'm just going to use rimmel powder and set like my face because this is my everyday powder so now it's pretty much good and dried up nothing on my fingers as well so this is now how, how my face is looking really good amazing now i'll complete my face now it's 4 p.m so honestly i'm not sure whether i'll be coming back or not to show you the end result of my makeup because i really don't think that matters and i have to film like a couple of videos so it's 4 p.m now and i'll be doing like check-ins so i'll be doing my first check-in around 7 p.m or like 6 30 or 7 p.m and then i'll be doing my final check-in at last so this is actually all it is looking pretty amazing so i'll see you soon in a few hours bye so guys i am back it's 8 p.m now so it is almost like four or five hours almost i actually finished like around i'm not even sure when i finished my makeup i mean i finished like four videos youtube videos i was continuously filming and changing my outfit changing my jewelry i was continuously doing that i am sitting since three i am not sure but since then i'm actually just filming youtube videos i'm doing that but anyway this is my first check-in and it is exact 
8 p.m so i just quickly wanted to like give you my first check-in and then i can continue editing the videos because i mean this is i'm done with doing videos i wanted to do one more insta video but i am done my head is kind of aching a lot so i'm done i just wanted to check in first and then i'll do my last check-in at night so this is my foundation it is actually looking so pretty honestly not heavy at all i need to just use just little product i had used a lot even in my smile lens as you can see it hasn't like sunk in that bad as other foundation usually do and i think if i use like a much more hydrating primer also like the huda beauty one or any other good moisturizing primer i think it will actually look much much better i mean from far away it is looking really nice it is not bunching around my nose as well can you see it is not even bunching even the dry patches is not looking bad at all it is not exaggerating my pores it is very beautiful on the skin it is not heavy at all and i don't really feel anything i mean i had applied the illuminating setting spray that is why i'm that glowy with the highlighter but aside from that even my under eyes is looking so good that i can't even explain i mean it is not dry at all it is not bunched up i mean the concealer i didn't actually even use that much concealer that i usually use i use a lot of concealer because i have dark circles but i think i will actually use the concealer with a color corrector below because i think i need that because i have like deep dark circles i mean i didn't actually use it today but still it is looking so good i think i prefer this brush to use the concealer it is so good or just fingers i mean the concealer is amazing i really love it but the foundation is honestly looking so good it has just started to like sink in my smile lens but i'll see till around like 11 p.m or 12 how it goes and then obviously i'll give you my final review my thought and opinion but for now it is looking so beautiful really amazing loving the foundation for now and it is pretty hot i haven't like switched on the ac since morning actually so it's pretty good it's going pretty good and still the ac is off so yay but my foundation is looking pretty good and i'm really liking how it is sitting on my skin not looking heavy at all and even in photos i was taking a bunch of photos and it was looking pretty good so for now it's actually looking very good on my skin amazing i just have to use little less product than the product i used to put on my face so just that so this is how my foundation looks i'll just zoom you in these are my natural texture so avoid that but aside from that it is looking pretty good anyways guys this was my first check-in now i'll see you around 11 or 12 and then i'll give you my final thoughts so i'll see you in a couple of hours bye hey guys i'm back it's 12 30 now so it's almost eight and a half hours so i thought i'm gonna do my final last check-in and i'll give you my review and thoughts and suggestions about the foundation so here i am i'm actually kind of sleepy i was editing the video today's video this video itself so i just have to edit this part and upload it on youtube and schedule it for tomorrow so i was actually doing that if you can see like patchy here i was actually having my tea so it kind of got all over so i had like the sauce here here everywhere so that is why it has like bunched up around here and now for the foundation and for concealer firstly i'm gonna talk about the concealer i mean it's not a new concealer it is all it is already there in the market since a very long time but i love this concealer my con under eye is still looking so good i just have to try it with a color corrector because I, I i think i need that aside from that i think i really love this concealer and i prefer to use this brush honestly this brush is amazing i love this brush to prime my eyelids even to do like precise application for my concealer so i really love this it is from morphe and it is morphe 173 i have four of these and i really like it and this gives like 
precise application and you don't use like a lot a lot because i usually like use so much of concealer to hide my dark circles i mean you can still see i have like deep here you can see but i mean it's okay i love this concealer a lot now going on to the foundation it is pretty good and i am telling you that i applied way too much i shouldn't have applied this much my foundation is looking so good that i can't even explain it is looking very natural on my skin on camera i don't really know why it is looking like cakey here but honestly um, my mirror is just here it is looking pretty good it is amazing and i have to use like less product i mean if you use like less product i mean it is totally up to you how much product you want to use but i think if you use like a decent amount of product i think it would look really good and if you use like a moisturizing primer underneath or just moisturize your face or uh, apply a good primer that works really well for you i think this will look really good and even i think for oily skin this will look really nice they have amazing shade range the packaging is so good and the squeezy is not like very i mean it is not very easy to squeeze a lot of product out i mean you can but i mean it's not like too soft so it is like a good packaging and i really love the packaging and the color matched me really well once i was done with my entire makeup first up when i applied it i was looking like a ghost but now it's better and my foundation is still looking so good and honestly i was i mean even now this ac is like switched off it is not switched on because the weather outside is good enough i mean it was good enough and i mean i was not sweating but it is good enough i have to use it like in humidity i mean it is looking pretty good and <laughs> just like bunched up around here because dinner but even around my nose you can see it is not like caked up or bunched up it is looking pretty nice and on my face seriously it is looking so good and i think it is looking weird because my light ceiling light is switched on i'll just switch off that i think now it's better i'm not sure but my foundation is looking really nice i love this foundation i will be trying this foundation like continuously whenever i'm doing my makeup because i need to see how it works with different primers and with different concealers today i used the combo of these two so it worked really well so i have to see like with other concealers with tart shape tape or the concealers which i usually use every day and i want to use like less products and see how it works and i want to use it with a good illuminating primer like strobe cream or the smashbox smashbox crystallized primer or like with the huda beauty like jelly primer i'll have to try with all the primers as well and with different concealers with different powders and see how it works but for now it is actually really good eight and a half hours was a pretty good time and decent time to do a wear test i know people do like 12 hours and more than that also but i really can't do that so yeah this was my review my suggestion about the foundation i mean the foundation is really amazing i have a dry skin not very drying but i mean i have like a dry skin so for me it worked really well it stayed on my face really nice didn't even oxidize little bit that was the main part of the foundation that it doesn't oxidize and it really didn't oxidize it is the same color as it was when i applied it so that's good part it looks really amazing on my face i just have to apply just little my mistake not the foundation mistake it was my mistake and from next time i'm gonna apply a little less product on my face and and see how it works but for now it is actually looking really nice it stayed and even my smile line is not bad i mean it is the same as it was when i applied it it just have sunk in a little bit i mean that is going to happen because i am talking and making weird expressions and giving weird expression but that is going to happen but but i mean you can still see that it hasn't like sunk in as i as other foundations usually do so that is good and it is still not like tacky at all i mean and it is not even oily trust me it is not getting oily it is 
the same way as it was when i applied it and i really love the foundation anyways so, guys if you have tried this foundation please do let me know in the comment section what are your thoughts whether you like this foundation or you prefer the other foundations from nars do let me know in the comment section what are your thoughts about it and if you like this video please give a thumbs up share it with your friends and family and please do subscribe because it really helps me a lot and for now i'm gonna go because it's too late so good night and i'll see you soon in my next video bye